I love working with creative people, and a lot of the founders I work with in the tech space are extremely creative. Part of my job is helping them fundraise, and getting that life-changing capital to help them succeed in their vision is uh, really feel satisfying and gratifying when you see that happen. A lot of times, clients are moving really fast. They have really sophisticated legal needs, but they don't have an in-house counsel. And that's kind of where I come in, that I serve that role, so we're helping them manage their risk and understanding where, they're, where they could be exposed, and if, to the extent I can help them, where to plug those liabilities. You know, your average founder sees maybe three or four funding rounds in their entire life cycle of the company. Venture capitalists see maybe five or six a year where they're really leading the round. That's a lot. I see twice what VCC see in a year in a given quarter. So I just have a lot of deal knowledge and expertise. And it really helps level the playing field between the founders and investors when the founders are wanting to know what's normal, how do we, how do we approach this, how do we solve for this problem. I've been there and I've done that. I can usually help them navigate those things. It's okay to be selective about who you're taking money from. These are people who are going to be on your cap table and your investors for the life cycle of your company. You want to make sure they have the same vision as you do. And especially if they're leading a round of funding, they want, you want to make sure that they see your vision the same way and are with you through the good times and the bad times. The ECVC practice is a pretty broad group of people. It comes from people like me and some of my colleagues that focus on early stage companies and really all of our traditional venture capital work, all the way through people who have done a lot of IPOs and are more focused on late stage companies. And the benefit of this is because we have this breadth of experience, we actually share our knowledge with each other. The other thing that's really important is we all kind of have our industry specializations. For me, it's a digital media entertainment is one of my big verticals. But if I talk to someone that's a biotech company, I can take this and I can introduce them to a partner who's, who is passionate about biotech and make sure they get the right fit. Uh, it's one of the things that we want to make sure all clients have is a, a partner and a lawyer that's passionate about their business. 